The gentleman who is entering this moment, the radiology department, is a 75 years old man that has had in his history a very difficult story. He had to, 15 years ago a cancer of the prostate that was treated by cryosurgery and for good luck he has been totally treated. Unfortunately, five years later, he developed a cancer of his left lung. This cancer required a, a total uh, removal of the lung and of the pericardium and was healed 10 years later. Nowadays, he developed another cancer in the residual lung of two centimeters. No chances for treat him with any kind of therapies. No surgery, no chemotherapy, no radiotherapy. For this reason, he came back to his uh, cryosurgeon and we decided to go again with another run of cryo. And today, in the radiology department, he is receiving local anesthesia because he cannot support any general anesthesia. And we are going to do a cryosurgery of this residual tumor as we are in this moment. A needle and another needle are introduced inside the tumor under CT guidance in real time. Like this, we can handle the tumor and destroy it by the mean of very low temperature. We are using one, minus 185 degrees Celsius in order to destroy totally the cancer cells inside the lung. After the therapy, the patient will receive some uh, antibiotics and will go in his room. Probably, since this is a very delicate patient, we may have some complications, but we hope to handle them properly and to be able to send the patient home very soon. Cryosurgery may be a good treatment for cases so difficult as this patient is. Today is a very lucky day. I just received a phone call from the gentleman who gave cryosurgery of the lung three weeks ago. He is home, back home, eating breakfast in his home after a travel of three hours airplane, three hours car, but he's safe and safely home. This is a good demonstration of how a therapy, a minimally invasive therapy can be chosen in order to treat malignancies that otherwise would not been able to treat it in any other way. Yeah.